Well, hello everyone, welcome to Playframe, and welcome to Young Souls. This is an indie game that came out this year from a studio out in France, I believe. I've not heard nearly enough people talking about it. It's very pretty, the animation in it is great, and the gameplay seems to be really charming too, so I wanted to uh, show off a bit of it for you in case it looked like something that might entertain you. Uh, fair warning in advance, uh, I know some of the people who watch our channel uh, watch these videos along with their kids. Um, this game is not as family friendly as it might look on the surface, so, you know, heads up. <laughs> but anyway, with that out of the way, let's begin! New game! And let's see, game mode can be changed at any time from relaxed, balanced, to challenging, recommended, or expert. The original difficulty level as intended by the developers. The game's more complicated at the beginning, but your progress will be all the more satisfying for veterans of fighting games and beat-em-ups. I'm not super good at fighting games or beat em up, so I'm gonna bump it down to balanced if that's alright. <laughs> also because I'm trying to talk at the same time, and boy, that's just a permanent debuff. Here we go. Uh, I've sampled this a little bit, enough to know this is gorgeous and y'all need to see it. Let's go! This story is dedicated to anyone who has lost someone they didn't know they needed, and to anyone who has found someone they weren't looking for. Jen. Tristan. I should never have dragged you into my war. Professor, forgive me. No, no, no. Children, you must run. Dwarven Goblin has come. You must stop him. We have to stop him. We have to move. Right behind you. Baldwin, we're not children. I'm sick of telling you that. It's all on fire. This is just... Fuck. Someone's gonna pay for this. Chapter 1. And here we are. Isn't this animation style really nice? It's like, it's 2D, but uh, <laughs> they uh, get some really 3D feeling uh, motion and depth out of it. It looks really nice. I'm loving the look of this. Uh, so, this is a, this can be a two-player game. Just a two-player side-scrolling, like, RPG beat-em-up if you want to. But in single-player, it works slightly differently and interestingly. Uh, in single-player mode, you only control one twin at a time in dungeons, and you can switch between them at any time and use that to your advantage. Uh, switch between the twins at any time by pressing the tag button, which is left bumper, and equip your two characters wisely as you'll use them both in turns. Use the tag to your advantage in combat for maximum efficiency between both twins. You can sometimes use it for, like, escaping uh, a big move that's about to hit you or something else. Like, it's, it's interesting how they actually strategically work uh, <laughs> this tag mechanic in if you're just playing as a single player. Here we go. So, tag. The twins! Alright, so light attack with X. And again, some really nice animation. Uh, charged attack with holding X. There we go. And at any time we could tag. Facing the wrong way, though. Tag again. See, like, I can tag in if one of my twins is down, and the other one will still be on their feet and able to attack back, like, almost instantly. It's really nice. Do you think everyone's okay? The town looks empty. Mayor Walden must have done his job right. I hope so. Let's go with Jen for a bit. Until we need to switch. Oh, a choice. Out of our way, we don't want to hurt you, but we will. Put down your weapons. Out of our way feels right. Get the hell out of our way. Anyone who doesn't is gonna get really fucked up. Stormen, protect the driller. Stand like the stone. We're not afraid. We stand with the stone, and we fall for the stone. Use the shield to protect yourself. You can still move when your shield is up with the left trigger. Uh, the shield only protects you from enemies in front of you, so watch your back. Okay. Protect yourself. 
with a shield. I love the little, like, hopping strafe movement with the shield as well. Yeah, the animation is just really nice, and just feels very different from most other games I've played. It's got, like, the animation style is very, like, modern Rayman, but in a genre that I've not seen it used in before. At least not nearly this well. They fell for the stone, all right. They just keep coming. The red meteors. Doppelt Gefahr. Yeah, they just keep coming. Nope. Get out of here. Uh, you can roll to quickly dodge an attack. Press the dodge button while holding a direction. Uh, with right bumper. Okay. Rolling consumes your stamina. You must have at least one stamina cell to perform a roll. The stamina gauge recharges gradually. Be careful not to get out of breath during a tense fight. I may be wrong, but I get the feeling that you will still recover your stamina if you are tagged out, which is which might be another good reason to use the tag mechanic. Let's test that. So, like, if I roll, roll, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jens is still recharging while Tristan's in. Love it. Oh, that's so big. That's so big. Large. <laughs> no, don't grab. Don't hit. Don't hit or grab. They even smell in the rain. Maybe worse in the rain. I hate trolls. You hate everything. Not everything. I like being smarter than you. I really like these twins. What the... Any idea where the driller went? Yeah, some idea. We doing this? Let's goddamn rock it. I like their confidence. I'm not feeling it currently. <laughs> Ow. Whew, not a lot of openings here. Maybe I can kind of get behind it. Nope. Not easily. Oh, it turns. Look out! Get in, hits. Oh, it's got so much health. Ow. Now. Yeah, follow up. Woo. It's tough. And I'm not hitting it from behind, but I can get hit from behind. <laughs> Good to know. It was an attempt at cheese, to be fair. Are we even hurting it? Can we even hurt it? Ow. Oh, that was like a parry or something. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> Any ideas? That's your department. I just hit things. Ow, fuck. Are, are you okay? No, but I can still hold my sword. Good enough. Crap. So, any ideas? Nope, but I can still hold my sword. I'll be right there with you, sis, no matter what. A few weeks ago, So, what do you want to do today? I want you to stop asking me that. I'm bored. Why is that my problem? Because I'm bored. What do you want to do? Okay, fine. I got something to do. What? Stop asking me that. Jen, Tristan, would you come in here? What do you think he wants? For us to run some stupid errands, I'm sure. Come on. I love how expressive their faces are. Just really appealing character design and character animation. It's just real great. Uh, all right, go to the professor's office. Let's do. Also really love the color palette. Can I still tag? Uh, yep, oh, I can, okay. 
You waste a lot of time and space on books. You know you can just get those digitally now, right? And you own more sneakers than any man or woman could possibly need. Sneakers are cool. So are books. I love them. Do you just shove everything under your bed? Yeah. Oh, good. Me too. <laughs> Another aftershock. They just keep coming. The earthquakes are probably God punishing you for letting me get bored. Or maybe the world is hiccuping. Have you ever thought... Jen? Tristan? Are you on the roof again? Whatever. Let's go see what the professor wants. Alrighty. Nice house. Ever think we're pretty lucky to live in a fancy place like this? For the first few months, yeah. Not so much anymore. What even is this thing? Art. But what does it mean? I don't know. Something expensive so you can say you have it. You ever want to peek around inside the professor's bedroom? Nah, there's plenty of stuff I'd rather not find. Good point. Let's see, it looks like we need to get downstairs. And I don't have time for stairs. Hello? Don't you two have school today? Hmm, it's Saturday, we stopped going, it's a day off. <laughs> Let's say it's Saturday. It's Saturday. Isn't it Thursday? Yeah, so that's why we're not in school. Ah, yeah, yes, that makes sense. Have you eaten today? Yes, I, I have. I had some oatmeal. That was dinner. Oh, uh, then maybe I haven't? Professor, you have to eat. You can call me father or even dad. It's been over a year. We know. It's just... I mean, you're not our dad, so... In your own time. In your own time. Uh, did you need something? Did you need anything, Professor? Oh, yes, uh, right, right. Uh, I'm in need of funds. These earthquakes suggest I need to move my timetables up. Lay the groundwork faster. I'll need to improve the frame to allow for more trips. I've placed a call with the pawn shop in town. I left you a cardboard box in the garage. Can you bring it to the pawn shop? If you could do that, I could focus on my work. I guess. Hey, it's something to do, right? I guess. Let's get the box from the garage. I do wish you two would consider applying yourselves. While it might seem like a nihilistic and combative view of the world makes sense now, one in which treating every encounter as a conflict and wearing people's distaste of you as a badge of honor, all the choices you're making have consequences down the line. You have to learn to live outside the moment once in a while. Look to tomorrow. There comes a point in everyone's life when they realize the vigor of youth isn't enough. For most, it's well after they've wasted it. Deep. For a Thursday, Saturday. Stop working. Eat. Oh, yeah, yes, right, right. I don't think he's gonna. I want to look at more things. What do you think the professor uses all these computers for? Computing. Yeah, but like, what? Computing things. Mm-hmm, probably. Still locked. Do you have to try it every day? You know you're not allowed to visit that area. I always make sure that door is locked. Why are you always trying to open it? Whenever I'm kept out of somewhere, I want to know why. Believe me, you don't want to venture in there. So many dangerous things lie behind that door. But now you're just making it sound interesting. Stop working. Eat. Right, right. Yeah. It's not working. <laughs> eat something. Huh? Oh, yeah, yes. All right. Not junk food. Of course, of course. Fly through my charges. All right, let's go do chores. Hmm. Ah, wait, hold up. That looks like an artifact. Uh-huh. But an artifact isn't a thing. It's a classification. And I classify this as an artifact. <laughs> I think I do too. 
One person's junk is another person's highly valuable junk. The professor sure has a lot of junk. Hey, uh, what do you think about, you know, calling him dad? Hmm. Well, it's what she said before. He's not our dad. The professor is just a guy. No, you're right. Sorry I mentioned it. I mean, the professor lives in his own world. He's a professor of cryptozoology. Like, what the hell does that even mean? It means he teaches a bullshit class where he can make everyone buy his book, The Hollow Earth War. You ever actually read his book? Nah. You? Nope. I hear it's terrible. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go hawk this junk. It's a simple cardboard box. Valuables can be sold at the pawn shop, the give and go, in town. Go see how much you can get for that box. Let's do. Let's see here. Going outside. Ah, take the bus downtown. Very well. It's those ginger freaks. I hear they skip school to sell meth. I hear they run their own gang. I heard they got expelled from school after they beat up the principal. My friend James says he saw them do it. All I know is those two are bad news. I am very interested in this 1P2P studio now. <laughs> it's the first of their work that I've seen, but uh... I am a fan. School stop. Shouldn't you youngsters be in class? Hmm. <laughs> we'll go tomorrow. We'll go tomorrow. I'm sure you will. City center. Let's sell this crap and then get back to the mansion. All right. Let's do. Oh, there's so many things to look at. Oh, I didn't see- I can do a run. <laughs> Just really loving the character animation in this. This is the best sneaker place in town. There's another sneaker place? Nope, that's why it's the best. <laughs> the happy fit. Got a fit to be happy, right? All right. Oh, I bet they love us here. You ever wonder why towns even need police stations? Not really. If it wasn't for this place, I'd probably be wrecking shit all the time. Are you saying you're the reason towns need police stations? Basically. I love the 3D look of the environments, too. Just full of charm. I always like this statue. Little guy holding up his sword. I'm pretty sure that's a book. What? No, that's definitely a sword. Pretty sure it's a book. <laughs> ah, the give and go. Every one of these items has a story. I need money. I'm bad with money. Life has made it so I have no money. That's the story it tells me. Hello. Hey, hey, my favorite horrible little punks. You got any more junk to hawk or are you just happy to see me? Sell whatever you don't want at Give and Go. Mezzi offers money for old stuff. You want to sell junk for money? I'm your gal, pal. Let's sell a cardboard box for $40. This is... wow. <laughs> A good deal. The professor wants you to take some more of his junk. The professor has a lot of stuff, but he has very little junk. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. 40 bucks. What? Sorry, kids. This, this is actual junk. I can't sell this, and I doubt the professor will want to buy it back. 
40 bucks is me being generous. No way, you're trying to rip us off. Yeah, no. These glasses are made of aluminum, which is interesting, probably from the white gold era, but other than making a cool costume piece. And this reader is interesting, but there's not a lot of Shakespeare fans in town. I honestly thought we were selling her an empty cardboard box, so. <laughs> $40 seemed like a pretty great deal. <laughs> 40 bucks, take it or leave it. Whatever. Ugh, this just means we'll be back with more junk tomorrow. Music to my ears. Bring me something made of gold or uh, or that you'd find in, gran in a grandma's house. Fine. Pleasure doing biz with you. Nice meeting you. Hope I can get some more wares soon. Starting to run low. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else, so... And no weapons. Or shields. Or armor. Or helmets. Or junk. We have nothing. Anyway, bye. Oh, hey. I almost forgot. I have your moped here. Bright, shiny, and purring like a tiger. I thought that thing was totaled. As if. Nothing's totaled when it comes to the give-and-go. The professor brought it in last week for me to fix it up. He did? Uh, thanks. Yeah, you said something about how teenagers need a sense of freedom to not stifle something-something developmentalism. Just don't crash it again. Hey, moped. Wow, Mezzi does miracles. It looks brand new. I'm driving. As always. Your moped's been fixed. You can drive it across town or back to the mansion. Uh, you can summon the moped to go anywhere in town by holding B. It's a good moped. Look at this animation. Got like a full turning screech thing. Like, Ah, it's good. Let's find the professor. Huh, that's weird. What's weird? Did we leave the door open when we left? I don't think so. Hmm. The door looks like it's been busted. Fuck. Everything's trashed. Oh, no. Professor! We gotta find him. To his office. Let's go. Damn, he's not here. Professor! The basement door's open. Ooh. Oh, let's go in. Should we go inside? I mean, he always told us not to. This is crazy. What do you think it is? It looks like a weird elevator. It looks like it goes deep down. I always imagined he kept a lot of weird things back here. This wasn't one of them. How do you think it works? It looks like there's a control panel over there. Ooh. Let's swap to Tristan for a little bit and use the lift. And I thought that elevator thing was crazy. This was under our feet the whole time? Looks like a whole secret lab. What is he doing down here? This is crazy. Let's look around. We're already breaking the rules. That band-aid is completely ripped off. Might as well make the most of it. That metaphor made less sense than I thought it would. Okay, what the hell is that? No doubt where the professor is. Come on. Wow, is that a sword? I am very much taking this. Gotta be ready for anything when there's weird portals and swords around. Jen, wait. What if crossing through this crazy portal thing kills us? We'll know if that's the case pretty quick. Fuck. We'll go together. On three. One. Let's just do it. Yeah! 
We seem to be somewhere else? I'll say. Looks like an old-timey village. Like at a renaissance fair. Everything seems to be on fire. If the professor is here, I hope he's okay. There's a body over there. Professor! Definitely not him. You ever seen someone with purple skin before? With a natural purple skin? Nope. <gasps> Baldwin, you old fool. The floodgates open and the light pours in. You speak our language? Shut up, Sunscorched. Uh... Sunscorched? What did you just call us? That better not be a slur, because I will mess you up if you just hate crime to me. Top lander, sun scorched, fresh skin, you're from the surface, and you'll be coming with us. You will not touch them. You will not. <coughs> uh, whoa, you're alive. Yeah, you've lost a lot of blood, dude. Maybe sit down. Kakon, how could you carry out his orders? Did you have to burn it all? Those were homes, memories. The professor came in peace. We only... <coughs> I stand for the stone. I stand with the stone. It will outlast us all. Children, <coughs> I was trying to escape. You... You have to run. Why? Also, no. <laughs> Why should we run? They'll, <coughs> they'll kill you. And you, right? Besides, if you know where the professor is, we're not letting them take you. Ha! You babes think you have a choice. How quaint. Soldats! For the stone! I want this goblin alive. Bring him to Dwarven Goblin. And the red-headed sun scorch, sir? Kill them. I think it is fight time. For glory! Ah! Okay, yes. For not dying! Ah! Oof. They take more hits now. <laughs> I think my equipment is not as good as it will be a few days from now when I die. I should try grabbing. I haven't managed to uh, grab one of these uh, enemies when they're down. Ah, too slow. Yeah. Well, we'll have to try it later. Kakon? Where is he? You saved me. My wounds are bandaged. That big purple guy took off when we started tossing his men around. Something about reinforcements? As for the wounds, the professor never shuts up about first aid. A practical man, yes. <laughs> the professor is a practical man. Yet at the same time, so full of dreams. Do you know where he is? Are we in danger? What are you? Children, I'll explain everything, I promise. But first, I need your help. You, we have uh, no time. If you want to give me a quest, I am very down for it. I mean, I have a sword now. Yes, I, I see you're not as practical as the professor. He was never fond of words like quest. If time's so important, start talking. You must follow the eastern trail outside the village. It'll lead you to a building dug into the rocks. It's our library. You might reach it before... before Kakon's men do. Eastern trail, building in the rocks, library. Got it. I need you to get a specific file located in the archives room. It's a green file called Secrets of the Moon Gates. This... this file is crucial. Yeah? For what? For properly using that gate you came through. That does sound important. Very important, actually. Okay, let's go. Wait, there's one last thing. Here. A rock? It's a travel rune. Once you find the file, squeeze this. It'll bring you back back to me. And how does that work? I have its twin with me. They, they work as a pair. Like you two. I'll, I'll return to the mansion basement through the gate and close it behind us so they can't follow. And we'll catch up when we have the archive. Got it. Be safe. I'll try. You also be safe. Don't die. To the library! Wait, how do we know this way is east when we can't see the sun? He pointed this way. So, this is a crazy day so far. Really, really crazy. Do you think those purple guys hurt the professor? 
Yeah, I think they did. Well, glad we get to hurt them back, at least. Yeah, for what it's worth. Great stalwart one. We are far past formalities, Kakon. Stand. The village near the Forbidden Grounds has been destroyed. Most of the rabble-rousers are dead or in custody. But... Two other Toplanders have arrived. Young, strong-willed. I assume they came looking for the Professor. They dusted my men like sandstone. By the time I came back with reinforcements, they were gone. And what of Baldwin? He disappeared along with them. We're searching for them, but they may have gone to the surface. Ah. Baldwin is a dangerous goblin. Perhaps the most dangerous. He'll try something sooner or later. Make sure we're ready when he does. May I request the help of Techa and Dinkoi in studying the gates? If we can figure out how they work. Anything you need. Anything I can give. My people must be united if we're to survive the coming conflict. If we fight amongst ourselves, the Sun Scorched will leave us in darkness forever. The Professor also clearly understands the old technology. Yes, but he's working on something far more important. Or he will be, as soon as he stops being obstinate. I do not approve of Shinjo's methods. Y you do what needs to be done. We have little time and much to do. I'll keep you no longer. No, you don't understand. You can't. Uh, please, please stop. I can't feel my arm anymore. Chapter 3 Knowledge Dive. Door in the rocks. Should be it. Nothing to it but to do it. Ooh, the Goblin Library. A dungeon. And here we are. Gates are entry points into the goblin world. Whenever you find one, it is activated by the travel rune and connected directly to the mansion gate. Oh, convenient. Uh, is that bad? Oh, this is that's the thing being connected. Got it. Right. Yes. Hello. That's a lot of books. Who could read all these? Maybe that old purple guy from before. The Rebel Library. Baldwin's foolish attempt to stand against the stone is now laid bare, and you children lead me right to it. Rude. Well, I shall find the Central Archive first, then destroy everything inside. And the Soldats will be here before long, so I hope you do have a wonderful day. We only need the one green folder thing, right? Let's see if we can grab that and get out of here. Green folder, green folder, green folder. Oop. Skeletons! They're kind of cute. Oop, more. Really gotta try a grab move. Ah. One of these days. Grab! Oop. I think I'm holding it, that's my problem. Grab! Nah! <laughs> Stay on the ground long enough for me to grab you, jerk. There we go. Ooh, I can grab this. Someone's in trouble. Hey! I was gonna throw that. Dork. Oh, I can grab as a counter move after blocking. If I'm fast enough. Or I guess I have to be lined up with it. Before this episode ends, I will achieve one grab. You can grab certain objects to use against your enemies. Throw a grabbed object using the attack button. Well, I tried, but bats. Ah, spiders. Yeah! Rolling- oh, that was a bat. Come here, and hold still. 
Who's next? Ah, nobody. Fantastic. Hey, Jen, why don't you take a shift? This would probably be a pretty fun co-op beat-em-up. Like, it's working really well in single-player as well, but, uh... Good with a friend, I bet. Yeah! Bat! Please! It's the skeleton's turn. Yep. Careful. Now, got behind me. Can't seem to grab them on the ground. There we go. Gotcha. Can I throw you at someone, though, is the big question. Oh, I can't hold you forever. <laughs> I did finally do it, though. Daily goal achieved. Get out of here, bats. Ah, dang. Now, bad positioning. Ooh, love the, uh, sort of, like, aerial combo there. That was great. Gotcha! Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. What's this? Hey, zone cleared! Go team of one. Give me your goblin money. And a green folder, if there happens to be one. Ooh! So you can do like a running slide. Neat. So if like you double tap, you can run and then... Yeah! Ah, oh, cool. Okay. They're just going to destroy all these books? Whoever these purple goblins are, they're monsters. I mean, I get it. You get it? Yeah, books are dumb. You do not get it. The archive secret room! Oh, another dungeon. Alright, let's do one more. You've probably seen enough to get the idea, and know whether or not this is something you <laughs> need to pick up and play. To think the gates were created for that reason. Hmm. Tetcha is going to be jealous when I... Who's Tetcha? She sounds like a bitch. I mean, with a name like Tetcha, you gotta be a kind of a bitch, right? You! My minions didn't slow you down nearly enough! Minions? That. The, the dungeon denizens, the dangerous creatures I summoned to attack you. The bats and things? I assume they just lived here. You know, with it being a cave. No, I summoned them, like this. Whoa, did you just... Was that magic? My dark arts are far more complicated than that word implies, but yes, that'll do for now. You can do magic? That's literally crazy. Why are you so surprised? What, what did you think I was doing before? Throwing down a smoke bomb and running away. Yeah, that... No! I'm a powerful practitioner of the Forgotten Arts. I'm Dinkoi, the Weaver of Fates. <laughs> We're gonna kick your ass. Well, Dinkoi, I'm Jen, and this is Tristan. Hey. And we are the Weavers of Kicking Your Ass. We shall see. Come here! I'm gonna hit you with this pot. Catch! <laughs> Good catch. Ooh! A heart fell out of that. That's convenient. Probably shouldn't break all these before I need them. Come here. Yes. Ah! Firebolt! Firebolt! You come here. Hey! Maybe I can, like, throw it back at him. Or block. Oh, okay. Hit him, Jen. Firebolt! Okay, maybe I can just, like, dodge until he gets tired. Firebolt! Firebolt! If I can get close enough, I bet I can still hit him. Rapid fire! Oh, jeez. They tracked me. Darn it. Woo! What's that? Ah, he's got backup. Come on now. But I was winning. Whoa! If you like kind of tap back and forth, you can sort of do like a little swirl thing. There's a lot more like 
mechanical depth to this than I thought. And you can do a parry. Okay, I thought I did that on accident earlier. Didn't realize that was a thing. Can I reflect? With this, I wonder. Yes! Oh, cool. Just gotta be, be actually good, which is a little unfortunate in my case. <laughs> Getting him. Don't let him up. Yes, good. Can I get you? Ah. Let's try a parry again. That was very satisfying. Yes! And I don't know what it's giving me. It's giving me, like, little pickups. Lava bolt. Okay, so I can actually hit him now. He's not running from me in time. Rapid fire! Okay, but I do need to actually... Okay, I just can't keep blocking those. Gonna get shot. What are you doing? Whoa! Okay, hey, hey, hey. Lava bolt. Parried that one. Yes. Good. Apocalyptic Firestorm. Oh, that sounds terrible. Guard Crush. That's bad. Swap. No, no. Made him up. Finish. Firebolt. No. No. Ah. Stop getting hit by everything. There we go. Guardian defeated. You two lack skill, but you have some measure of grit. Yet you are only two. There they are! And I am many. The Archive! The Rune! Shake it! That's my move! They stole my move! Children, you made it back. Did it go well? Are you victorious? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We got a lot of stuff. And ran into a goofball. Goofball? Dinkoy, the master weaver of magical magic. Oh. Well, what's wrong? We whooped him. Easy. That goblin might seem like he might even be a fool, but he's dangerous. Most goblins are. They'll not hesitate to... To, send, to end your lives if they can. And the powers he wields are not tricks. Where you faced him was somewhere out of his element, so be wary. We got this. Yeah, we got this. We need explanations. Now, who are you and where is the professor? My name is Baldwin, former member of the council. I was helping your father with his diplomatic mission. He's not our father. Diplomatic mission? Not your father? My apologies, the way he spoke, the way he spoke about you and, and his mission. Attempting to build relations with our people, and lately to talk Dwarven Goblin out of his campaign against the surface. As you can see, that did not go well. Dwarven Goblin? He'll hurt the professor? He'll force your... He'll force your professor to help him in his war against the surface. And then he'll have him executed for crimes against the stone. So, what do we do? I don't know. Let me think on it. And if in the morning I still live, we'll have much to discuss. Rushing into danger with no plan will help no one. And we're... we're safe for now. They cannot use the Moon Gate without a travel rune. I'll compile this archive here with the Professor's equipment. It may take some time, and the gate only works at night. What? That's lame. Any idea why? Something to do with the phases of the Moon, I believe. I'm not sure. Hopefully, I'll have more for you soon. So that's it? We just wait till tomorrow night? So it seems. I too have friends in grave danger. If they're even still alive. So, please. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna crash. Sounds good. What have I gotten them into? Professor, forgive me. Oh, we are to go to bed. <laughs> uh, but I think instead we'll just go ahead and call it an episode. You've got you got the general idea what this is about. Uh, it's available on PC and all the current consoles, uh, and it's a pretty good time. I'm enjoying it already, so uh, I hope you do as well. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for some more Elden Ring. Goodbye! Mm -hmm.